All right, guys. So I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is I am no longer infected. The bad news is... So, <laughs> yeah, we got our butt handed to us last night uh, by that, that wandering horde that came through. Um, and all the more reason why we, na- we need to get out of this place. This place is not safe. Um, I, uh, I thought we could, you know, make it work for a little while, but that was just, I, there was nothing I could do. I was completely overrun. And so they killed me, you know, my sleeping bags on top of that building over there. So I ended up just hunkering down for the rest of the night. I didn't, didn't move at all. And I went and did something else until morning. <laughs> so that was crazy. Anyway, uh, welcome everybody to Undead Legs. I'm an old guy gave in. So what we're going to do in this episode is we, we have to prioritize finding a better, uh, a more stout place to live. That is a priority numero one, numero uno. All right. So let's get to the business of doing that then so let's see we are we're in really good shape food and water wise um health isn't health is okay it's not all the way up but it's okay i do have one point in the you know the health thingamadoodle um and okay yeah it looks like we yeah this one here healing factor so that'll slowly come back over time as long as we don't get thumped in the meanwhile uh we lost some skill points i think when you die i think it randomly removes one of your skill points or maybe a couple of them i don't think it removes all of them not really sure about that but anyway it sucks no matter what so yeah let's uh let's get busy and see if we can find a a better place to live now uh again and i mentioned this before where we're going to live now is not necessarily going to be our ultimate base but um it's it's going to have to be able to withstand those nightly wandering hordes because that was just brutal uh, as you guys, you know, saw in that little excerpt that I recorded. So um, we need a stout place. We really do. So I'm thinking maybe we, oh, my goodness, how in the world did that sleeper not wake up? whoo Okay. Shh. Let's just keep going. Oh, she just disappeared. Hello? What the hell? That's total hacks, man. That is total hacks. <laughs> oh, she angry now. Right in the noggin. Okay, give me my arrow back. That's what you get for appearing and disappearing and reappearing like that. That's just not fair. Okay, anyway, so let's see. What do we have here? Uh, I'm thinking like maybe Aurelia Auto. That's going to be a pretty stout building. What is this place? Is this like a Bud's Bars thingamadoodle? This is Min Make? Oh, Mini Market. Oh, but it's. Okay, this part of it is wood. What? This part's brick, though. Yeah, that's 2,500 hit point brick. Um, Let's just poke our head in here for a second. Okay, so this this could work. This could work. This part of it, though, obviously is not ideal, but as long as there isn't a way for them to get up to us from this part. Um, all right, let's keep that in mind. Oh, wait a minute, though. Does that have half block on the top? No, just kind of along the edges. I'll tell you what, let's, let's scooch up there for a second and take a Took a kick. A little, oop, 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 mouth work. Take a quick peek is what I'm trying to say. Uh, all right. It's got kind of a crappy roof, doesn't it? We'd have to do some work here to to because Zombos could get up that way if they wanted to. And I don't know. Do those tiles even collapse? 
Oh, look, there's some fat loots over there and a fat buzzard, too. Suck it, buzzard. Here, let's go get the fat loots. We might as well since we're up here, right? Are there any more buzzards up here? Let's get this right. Oh, you know what? That's We have no more shotgun shells, so that isn't going to help. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I don't think... I think this place is going to be too much work for us to to live up here. So, yeah, let's 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 go. Let's keep looking. Uh, but we might as well break into this since we're here. Some coffee, some charred meat, and a goldenrod flower. All right. Uh, we'll butcher you and get your giblets. And a bird's nest. Okay. Uh, there is a backpack over there. Anything good? Nice! Alright, yeah, we'll take that. Um, I can put that on here, right? I can, but since we're out of shotgun shells, let's put it on here for now, and then we can switch it over maybe later once we get some shotgun shells. Okay. Well, that was worth checking into for sure. But, yeah, this is not really, I don't think this is ideal place. We, whoop, uh, we could make it work, but let's keep looking. There's, there's this place here, too. Again, we'd have quite a bit of fix-up, and that's good and bad. I mean... It's good because we'll get a lot of XP from doing the fix-up, but it's bad because we kind of need something that's going to work here and now without having to put a lot of effort into it. Um, there is a weapons bag in the cellar of this place, and there's a kitchen down below too. That's Yeah, that's probably something we can loot later. So O'Reilly o Auto is a, is a good stout building. I've used this for a base before, uh, but we're going to have to have a fight on our hands to get that to work. So there's that. Um, we could continue looking down this way, but we're getting further and further away from the trader, which is not ideal. This building could actually be good, though. Grumpy's Pub. All right. What's, uh, what are we talking here? That's 2,500. Okay, so that's pretty stout. There's a ladder on that side that's all... Oh, chicken. Uh, that's already off the ground, which is good. Come on, chicken. And it's actually really close to our horde base, too. Uh, horde base is right on the other side of that tank there. Okay, so this is not a, necessarily a bad choice. Um, let's go around here. We got a, a dude here. Um, I don't think I can, yeah, I can't get a sneaky shot. Well, actually, here, let's try this. Just, <laughs> still can't quite get to his head. Can I get up here? And, yeah, here we go. Oh, I don't know, man. Here, let's just try it. <laughs> we got you, sucker. All right, come to Papa. What the hell? How did an Edgar just take your place? What kind of hacks is this, man? You gotta knock that crap off, dude! Hey, don't hit me! Damn it! Okay. I don't want to get hit right now. I kind of actually don't ever want to get hit, but I don't want to get hit right now. Look at that! That is so cheating! That is, like, so cheating. We're not messing with Edgar. He's faster than in vanilla, and he hits like a... Like an Edgar. We're not messing with him. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Let's get some gas. Did I... Uh, wait, what? Did I just put gas into those? Wait a minute, what? I must have put gas into it. That was weird. Okay, whatever. Let's go up here. We don't want to... Get Edgar's attention. Oh, you know, we could... Whoops. Uh, we could also do uh, Hurry Harry's. 
That's a possibility. I mean, who wouldn't want to live on the top of a drive-in? You know what I mean? The only, like I said, the only thing I don't like about over here is we're a bit far away from the trader. And that's significant, especially while we're still on foot. All right. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of... That place would work. It really would, but I'm kind of favoring the uh, auto, the oh, really auto parts, because it's a lot closer to the trader. So I think, oh, there's a bunny. I think that's what we're gonna do, you guys. I think that's what we're gonna do. And like I said, we're gonna have a bit of a fight to clear this place. So, um, yeah, that'll be fun. Though, if you guys aren't familiar with this POI, it's been in the game for a while. Um, there's a big opening on the roof with kind of like a ramp that goes down and the zombies can come up. So we're going to have to get rid of that ramp. Um, plus there's Zeeks that spawn up on top of the roof. I did um, an, a Dead is Dead series in Alpha 18, I think it was. Oh, these are kind of like railroad tracks almost. In Alpha 18, um... A permadeath series, and I actually use this place for my base in one of those. So, uh, it's a, definitely a strong building. It should be 2,500 too, right? Oh, no, it's 5,000. Yeah, it's even better. Okay, yeah. So, why don't we do this? Why don't we start on this end? I'm not worried too much about cl clearing the inside of it out yet. Um, it's the roof that I'm really wanting to get cleared first and uh there's a zeke behind there you know what why don't we take a pill just to get a little health back and then we can slam down a couple waters to counter the effect of that we might as well since we're slamming down water let's eat that too and maybe one more okay that should be good all right, so yeah, there's going to be a, Z a, a Zeke in there. Why don't we switch to... I got five iron arrows. So we got to deal with that zombie first. What zombie is it? Okay, it's Steve. No, that's Burn Guy. Is he fast? Oh, he's not that fast. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's get some bleeds going on him. And a conk. Oh! Oh! Go down. Okay. Give me a chance to get a little bit of stamina. Oh, man, he's, like, really pounding on us. Crapola. Okay, here, we need this. And we're infected again. What in the hell is with the infections in this game? Uh, this mod. I mean, it happens, but it seems like it's... Oh, man. Doggone it. Okay. It seems way worse than vanilla. Oh, my goodness. Uh, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments that I should be doing cloth armor. I completely agree. So we do have some padded boots. Uh, we should we can look at the, the other stuff, you know, uh, as soon as possible. We'll just put it that way, as soon as possible. You need duct tape for that, though, and I don't have a lot of duct tape at the moment. Wow, that guy. Look at our health, you guys. Holy crap. Maybe we should have let him kill us. <laughs> I can't use that at this time. Of course I can't. You stupid game. All right. Well, um, yeah, if we get tagged even once, we're we're hosed. And again, maybe that's not a bad thing because of the infection. But I don't roll that way. I don't just lay down and die either. Um, so we will keep fighting until we can't fight anymore. So he broke out of there. Okay, we don't uh, we don't need to worry about anything coming up through here, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there's any way they can get up through there. Oh, shit. Is it just you, Roddy McDonnie? Alright. Uh, oh, don't hit me. We gotta get a bleed on him. And what we're gonna do is play Ring Around the Rosies. Because, oh, shit. He can't tag us, not even once, so we're dead. So let's just stay away from him, let the bleed do its work on him. When he stops doing his... That way we know the bleed's done. Okay, now we need to get another one on him and then run away. I hear another zombo, but hopefully that zombo's down below. Undead cadaver. 
Okay, we have to pop the coffee for stamina we will. Oh shit, he's, he's there. Okay, he's done. Okay, try again. Oh, hit me. All right, he's about 40% down. Okay, that was good. Okay, he's almost dead. He's gonna bleed out here in just a couple moments. Oh, he dropped the bag too, look at that. Oh shit, where'd you come from? Darlene? Okay, here we go, here we go again. Deja vu. We gotta, we gotta take this because I am losing stamina. Oh, 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 oh. what the hell's going on? Oh. Oh boy, this is so fun. I am having so much fun playing this game. Just thoroughly enjoying this one. It's just really fun. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, um, well, hey, let's, let's, let's do the silver linings thing. We're not infected anymore. Oh, we're going to break our leg if we're not careful, though. Okay, let's run back, get our shit, and keep trying. That's all we can do. Um, because we did not kill Darlene, she's going to respawn. Um, but we're going to, yeah, shut up. I don't even need you to say that. It's just not necessary. Uh, she's going to respawn, but we're also going to have full health and be able to fight a little bit more effectively this time around. She might have even come up from down below. I'm not really sure. But you know what? If it takes us a couple of deaths to get to a secure place that it takes us a couple of deaths to get to the secure place. That's just all there is to it. And uh, there you go. Okay, let's do this again. Now, we're going to stay quiet. Okay. You're loaded, right? I don't have any shells for you, and you still have a couple iron arrows. All right, let's go over this way. You know, um, we need to we really need to get an artisan bench going ASAP because we can't make a land claim block until we do that. And a sleeping bag's not going to cover this entire roof to prevent repop. So, yeah, this place brings back some memories. Memories from the corner of my mind. Uh, yeah, as long as Zeke's can't get up that way, but we should be able to put like another ladder rung down there and then use it ourselves. Okay, let's go around this way. So the main thing we got to do is try and break out that ramp that lets them come up from down below. I don't... I thought a couple Zeke's... Okay, there's a there's a Zomboid over that way. I thought there was one that also spawned in right here. Maybe Darlene did die from bleeding out. We could only hope, right? Okay, this, this part right here is clear. So, let's go around this way. That is... I think that's a spider zombo there. Oh, there's a buzzer too. All right, let's deal with him. Uh, we don't need it to use an iron arrow for him, so let's use stone arrow. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. I think what we need to do is... Hmm... We need to kill that guy, obviously, but I don't know if I want to try and pull him and fight him with everybody else also. Then, Oh, there's, a, there's an Edgar there, too. Oh, that isn't good. Damn it, Edgar. Ah, shoot. Okay. Here, let's go this way. Nice and quiet. This is what we have to block over here. I'm not worried about anybody down below after we get this ramp cut out. The question is, can we do it without waking those two guys up? And anybody else down below too, for that matter. Hmm. 
I really wished I had grenade right now. Okay, you know what we might be able to do? Eh, do I have... I don't have any large stones with me, do I? Shoot. Okay. I was thinking we could run some blocks along there to block their path up, and then we could reinforce them. But to do that, I'm going to have to be able to upgrade them. And I only have two left on me as well. Okay, let's go around this way. Everybody be really quiet. I think what we should do is let's pull this guy first. Okay, a little bit lower. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Man, if we could only do that to Edgar. Only do that to Edgar. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back over here. Uh, we got Janitor, Janitor J down there. Janitor Jeffrey. Um, can we get him to bugger off? No, he saw us, which means he's going to come up the ramp and come after us. So let's get ready for him. Well, unless he's going to be stupid. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you he can't. He's probably blocked by a door somewhere. Maybe. We might be able to break these out without getting Edgar's attention. Okay, here. Let's jump down here. And let's uh, get our pick. I've got repair kits. And I think what we want to do is... Can we... Oh, that's just wood. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought that was like concrete. Or, or not concrete, but uh, like asphalt. That's even better, man. Okay, <clears throat> I think we have uh, secured this well enough for Zombos not to come up. What I'm going to do, though, uh, what I'd like to do is... Let's put that there for the moment and clear it out even just a little more. I don't really need to, but let's just be thorough here. Um, I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm, like, completely stuck. Oh. Here, you get hit in the nuts for getting me stuck. I... <laughs> I fell down and he was on my head. I couldn't move. <laughs> Isn't this fun, you guys? This is so fun. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are having a great time. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we were so close, too. I was just trying to get that one last block out of there. I didn't even really technically need to, but I did it anyways because um, uh, I don't have any extra frames, do I? Uh, we can make... Actually, here, we can make some more frames. Um, let's make, say, four more of these. I, I, I wanted to get that extra block out of there just because, you know, they can pile up on each other's shoulders and so I wanted it to be as you know far enough down to where I felt comfortable with the arrangement but uh 
Oh my goodness, we are like <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh, whatever. You know what? A, a time is going to come pretty soon where we're going to be able to hold our own and deaths are going to be almost non-existent. We just haven't gotten quite to that point yet. <laughs> and now we have the joy of trying to get our freaking backpack out of there down below, but we'll we'll figure it out. Son of a Okay, so Edgar's probably still going to be over there, or it might spawn in something different, but I'm sure... Uh, okay, is it Edgar? Yeah, it's still Edgar. All right. I think what we're going to have to do is jump down, grab this, jump up. Jump up there, grab this, get back up here and grab that. Okay. Whew. Edgar, you're still asleep, right? Okay. I just can't quite reach that from here, though. All right, what if we do this? Okay, I am satisfied that this is adequate. For now, anyway, you know, to keep them from trying to jump up here. And, and you know, there's no path, no, there's no longer any pathway anyways, for, so they, it's not likely they would even attempt to do that. Okay, so we got an Edgar over there that we need to deal with. Um, so, let's see, what's the best way to handle him? I don't want to take him on head-to-head. -head. He's just too fast and too tough. Why don't we... Okay. If we could stay up here, uh, we'd have to, oh crap, that's a thousand hit points. Damn. Okay. Hmm. We, the, the thing is, we have to kill him. If we don't kill him, he's just going to reset. We have to act. Oh shit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I <laughs> wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, so we either try and take him on head to head, which is not really a good idea. I don't want him to fall down below because, if again, if he doesn't kill him, he's just going to repop again. Um, I guess I could bang on this. Yeah, let me let me take this out real quick. Okay, <clears throat> so I finally got all that stuff uh, broken out here, so... Let's go ahead and pop Edgar with our final iron arrow. Maybe we'll luck out and get another head blast. All that work and <laughs> we one shot him anyways. Oh crap. Okay, that's okay. We got we got some scrap metal and I got some uh mining skill from it. Okay. Wow. Awesome. You know the funny thing too is I don't even have any points in archery yet. I'm going to be putting some in there as soon as we uh, well, you know, if we ever actually <laughs> level again after dying so much. No, we will. We will. All right, you guys. The building, uh, or the roof, I should say, is ours. Now, we still got a bunch of Zeeks going nutso down below. Um, But, I mean, I can't do anything about that right now. I just can't do anything about that right now. Um, So, they can't, like, jump up on there, can they? I don't think so. Well, they might be able to. Anyway, let's... um. Let's uh, run back home and get uh, our, our bedroll and start moving stuff over here. And then maybe some of those Zeeks will chill out because some of those are, uh, are not sleepers. Some of them just kind of came in off the street there. But anyway, all right, guys. Well, let's see. What time is it? Yeah, I think I'm going to let you guys go here. Um, and I'm going to work on getting moved over uh, to the new location. And then once, uh, you know, once that happens, we will then resume our episodes. Uh, well, yeah, duh. Of course we're going to resume our episodes. We're going to resume, um, what am I trying to say? Missions. Yeah, doing missions. 
um, after I kind of, after I get everything set up. So let uh, I want to get my bedroll from up here and get it back over uh, to the new location first. And let, we might as well grab some stuff along the way, too. In fact, I know what I'm going to do. Let's get in here. Uh, let's... Is there anything in here? There isn't. Okay. Uh, we're going to start using these crates because they have more storage than the normal boxes. Um, I don't have anything in that one either. So let's grab this one. And then... Um, can I grab the carpenter's table? Uh, do I have anything in here? No. Okay, let's grab the carpenter's table. And how are we doing on weight? Oh, man, we're already over eight. Okay, what, besides the carpenter's table, what else? Oh, those are heavy, too. My goodness. Um, how about if we put this back in here? Let's put half of these waters back in here. We'll put... Uh, we'll just put all the planks back in here for the moment. That can go in there. Anything else can go in there. Okay, that gets us to the point where we're not hugely encumbered. We don't really need to carry the gasoline can around with us for the moment either. And the rest of it's not all that significant. Okay, so uh, we'll run over there. We'll put these two crates down, get the carpenter's table down. I'll come back at the other two workstations and then start moving all the rest of our stuff over to the new location. Um, we will need to, you know, I do want to definitely clear out the bottom too, because there's some pretty decent loot in the place. So we'll we'll work towards that as well. But only after we get established on the roof and um, go from there. Okay. So yeah, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.